So you upgrade it to Windows 11 and immediately realize the taskbar and start menu kinda suck, right? Yeah, you're not alone. The good news, you don't have to live with it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to completely fix Windows 11 by bringing back the Windows 10 taskbar and start menu, plus some cool tweaks that make it even better than before. And the best part, it's completely free and it takes about a few minutes to set up. But before we fix your Windows, if you find this helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel out, plus you will get more Windows tips like this. So without any further ado, let's fix your Windows. So this is the app I am talking about. It's called Explore Patcher and it's available completely for free on github.com. I will also put this link in the video description down below so you guys can easily follow this video until the end. Now, this app is also open source, so pretty much you can see every single piece of code on this GitHub repository. Now, this app will give Windows 11, Windows 10 taskbar, as well as start menu, which I think it's pretty cool. So if you have Windows 11 25H2, this is how the new start menu actually looks like. Many people do actually hate it. However, right now I'm going to show you how to install this application and change this forever. So pretty much what you will have to do here on this website, click here on the releases page and then here down below, you will see the exe file. And you can also see that this app is updated quite regularly. So because Windows is also updated quite regularly, this version also supports Windows 25 H2. So if you have the latest version installed, you can also use this program with no problems. Here down below under the assets, you guys will see two of the exe files. Now the first one is for the x64 devices, pretty much with Intel and AMD processors. However, if you do have Snapdragon processor inside of your laptop, you guys will have to click on this one and install it on your computer. Now just click on one exe file and you can see here that this file unfortunately is not commonly downloaded. Now to fix this you guys can click on three dots and here click on keep and then here you will click on this drop down and click, click here on keep anyway. That way you will save this file on your computer and now we can click here on the folder so this will direct us to the downloads folder on Windows. We can just double left click on this file and you should see right now this pop up click on more information and then click here on run anyway. Click once again on the same thing and run anyway and wait for a few seconds. Now here you will see the admin prompt, click on yes. And now some things should restart in the background. And uh, right now you should have here the Windows 10 taskbar as well as the start menu. So pretty much here you can see that we already have this really nice looking Windows 10 taskbar. However, the start menu still looks like the default Windows 11 start menu. So to fix that, we can also do one more thing. You can right click here on the taskbar, click here on the properties. And this is where you will pretty much find every single setting for the Explorer patcher. Now under the taskbar settings here, make sure that you have the taskbar style which is by default set to Windows 10 Explorer Patcher. So this is the must do. And then here, if you go to the start menu as well, you can change here the start menu style. As I said, this is set to Windows 11 by default. However, we can change this to Windows 10. And now if I click here on the start menu, you can see here the Windows 10 start menu already. However, we can also change here the position on the screen. Pretty much I will click here at screen edge. And now if I click here on the start menu, you can already see here that on Windows 11, you can actually achieve Windows 10 taskbar as well as the start menu. And you can see here also the pinned applications, which I think are very useful to have. If you go here, dive into the settings under the properties, under the start menu, you can also find here a few more settings. For example, if you have the corner preference set, for example, to the rounded corners and docked menu. Now, if you click here on the start menu, you will see this roundness on the top right corner. However, if you change this, to the rounded corners and floating menu. You will see here that the gap is between here, the taskbar and the start menu, and you have all rounded corners here. So pretty much I do quite like this style of the start menu. This is not all, you guys can also change here the display mode from default to the full screen start. You will have to click yes here on the admin prompt. And now if I click on the start menu, you guys will see here that you can also bring back the Windows 8.1 start menu on Windows 11, the latest version 25H2. And this one also looks quite, quite cool. So here you have pinned applications. And if you click here, you will see every single app on your computer. 
So yeah, it's very useful to have. Now I will change this back to the default. And then if you go here under the app list, you can also hide it or even disable it. So for example, if I click here on hide, now if I go here to the start menu, we have here different button. And now here you will see this applications. And if I click on this button, you will see every single pinned application as well. So this app also has a few more tweaks up to its sleeve. Now we can also go here to the taskbar and change a few more settings as well. For example, here you have this very important setting, which is start button style. Now this is set to Windows 10 by default. However, you can change this to Windows 11. Now, if I click here to restart the file explorer, we can wait here for a few seconds. And now we can see here that we have Windows 11 start menu on our Windows 10 taskbar. So I think it looks super, super cool nevertheless. Now, one thing which we can also do here is to change the taskbar icon size. Now by default, this is set to large, but we can change this to small. And now we can see here how the taskbar actually looks like. So it's way smaller compared to before. Now here down below, you will also find the options for combining the taskbar icons. So pretty much you have here always set to combine. However, you can also click here, never combine, and you will see also here, the name of the opened application. Now we can continue here with the file explorer. Here you will also find a ton more options. For example, this one right here, disable the Windows 11 context menu. So this is the right click context menu on Windows 11. And if I check mark this, you can right now see that we have this old Windows 10 right click context menu. So if you want that, you can also have this option enabled. Now, if we go here under the system tray, we can also change the icons right here. For example, here we can see that the network sound clock and the battery indicators here at the bottom right corner have the Windows 10 flyout. However, you guys can also change that to whatever you prefer from this dropdown, even Windows 11 Wi-Fi flyout, for example. Now, if we go here under the Windows switcher, so this is how the default Windows 11 Windows switcher actually looks like. However, we can also change this to, for example, simple Windows switcher. We can just restart the file explorer here. And this is how the default Windows switcher looks like. It's very simple yet very straightforward as well. Then here we have some of the options for the weather spotlight, other, and also the update. So if this app has a new update, you guys can also update it through this application. Then also the settings from where you can also uninstall this application. I will just show you how to uninstall this app just in a few seconds. And now if you go here under the about, you can see pretty much frequently asked questions and stuff like that. And also your build of Windows. So I'm currently on Windows 11. 26,200.5761. And this application actually works super, super well. So yeah, this is pretty much the Explorer patcher and how you guys can get Windows 10 start menu and taskbar on Windows 11. And uh, right now, let me also show you how to uninstall this application in case you don't want to use it anymore on your computer. So pretty much you guys will go here to the start menu. Here you will search for the settings and in here, click on the apps, click on the installed apps, and then here search for the Explorer patcher, which is right here. Click on the three dots and then click on uninstall. And then once again on uninstall button, here you will see this pop-up Windows protected your PC. Click on more info and run anyway. Wait for a few seconds, click on yes here. And now you will click yes here once again. And once again, here you should get this pop-up uninstall completed. So yeah, Explore Patcher can actually fix Windows 11 by applying the Windows 10 taskbar as well as the start menu. And it looks super cool nevertheless. I will put a download link for this app in the video description down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel as well. And I will see you all around in the next video.